In July 2006, 64 young people from around the world gathered at the Junior H Summit in St. Petersburg, Russia, to discuss, debate, and decide what they would do to address global issues. The students hailed from Canada, the United States, the United Kingdom, Germany, France, Italy, Japan, and Russia. The students worked together, and in a united voice, they prepared their recommendations to the leaders of the world. On July 16, 2006, for the first time in the history of the G8 Summit, eight students from the Junior 8 delegation were invited to sit at the table with the G8 leaders, where they shared an Olympic dream they believed would change the world. This is the harsh reality that inspired their hopes and dreams. At the J8 Summit, we chose to see the world through different eyes, through the eyes of children in pain, listen to their voices. I'm always hungry, and when I ask my mom for food, I see tears in her eyes. I know she wishes she had more to give me. Tonight, I will go to sleep hungry, but when I dream, I'm not hungry. Every night, 350 million children go to bed hungry. Every five seconds, a child dies of hunger. It's not that the world cannot produce enough food for everyone. It's simply that the world has failed to mobilize to end hunger. My mother is sick. So am I. We both have HIV. I'm afraid of becoming an orphan like so many of my friends. They live alone and take care of their brothers and sisters. I need medicine, but there is none for me. But when I dream, I'm not sick. Over 2 million children are living with HIV AIDS. 14 million children have already lost one or both of their parents to AIDS. In the next three years, there could be 25 million orphans. Who will care for these children? Will we simply ignore them because we don't know what to do? I used to go to school, but now I can't. There is no money to pay the fees. But when I dream, I'm at school, learning with my friends. Over 100 million children do not go to school. They have the right to learn too. Will we help them? We are very poor. I have to work. I work all day. I am very tired. But when I dream, I don't work. I play. There are over 250 million children engaged in child labor. Is this the life they deserve? I got a new job today. I sell my body to men for money. I'm scared. But when I dream, I'm not scared, I'm safe. This is our world today. Children are being sold into slavery. They are being forced to sell their bodies. They are being forced to kill. Will we rescue these children? Can we help them to heal? This is a message from a 15 year old we were not able to protect. I would like to give you a message. Please do your best to tell the world what is happening to us, the children so that other children don't have to pass through this violence. Is this the world we want? 2% of the world's people own 50% of the world's wealth. 10% of the world's people own 85% of the world's wealth. Yet 50% of the entire population own only 1% of the world's wealth. We dream of a better world and ask you to imagine it with us. Every four years, countries from all over the world compete in an Olympic competition that honors the best athletes. What if we could start an Olympic race which honors the best companies based on their ethics and their willingness to give a percentage of every sale to help suffering children? Imagine a world where everything you buy creates hope. What if buying groceries could help feed a child? What if buying or selling your house could help provide shelter? What if your entertainment expenses could help send children to school? 
What if buying cosmetics could help heal a sick child? What if buying a cup of coffee could help provide clean water? What if buying clothes could dress children for school? What if all of your banking fees could help finance a new business in the developing world? What if buying gasoline could help build roads? What if buying a car could help build clean renewable energy? What if buying technology could help train a teacher? What if your home improvements could help build a farm? What if your cell phone could keep a child safe? What if we could change lives with every purchase? This is the way to peace. Let's rebuild shattered lives, one transaction at a time. Are you willing? If we can unite to support our athletes, can't we unite to support our children? When we dream, children are not hungry. Sick children get medicine and care. Children go to school, not work. Children are free to play because they are safe. Children are protected because they are precious. Aren't children worth more than all the wealth on the planet? Will we dare to care? Will we care enough to share? The Global Industry Olympics channels funds from the point of sale to the point of need. Step up for a challenge. Contact us at passionforpeace at hotmail.com.